Yo, what is going on you guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty video and today we're going to be talking about something super controversial, something that the community has been talking about extensively for the last 24 hours and that is that Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, the founders of Sledgehammer Game Studios, have actually left the studio itself. Now before you go on to cheer, just know that they are taking on executive roles at Activision. What does that mean? I do not know. The only thing we know is that they left Sledgehammer Games and have joined Activision in executive roles. I do not know what that means. We have seen what they have done with the Call of Duty franchise. <laughs> It could go either way. Honestly, it really can. It could be good or really bad. This isn't the first time that two studio heads have actually left a Call of Duty development studio. The last time this happened was back in 2010 when Jason West and Vin Zampella left Infinity War 2 to create their own development company called Respawn Entertainment, which they then went on to create the Titanfall franchise. And I gotta say, it's not my favorite game. However, they can definitely say that they're doing better than Lawbreakers, which last I heard, Lawbreakers only had like 10 players worldwide. That's pretty pitiful, man. It's kind of sad. Apparently Kotaku, which is the outlet, which by the way has a very good reputation, they have known about this for weeks now, however they didn't report on it because Activision was not ready to confirm until now. And if you go ahead and look at their Twitter feeds, this makes a lot of sense. The last time that Condry actually tweeted out anything Call of Duty was back on January 27th, and the last time that Glenn Schofield tweeted out anything Call of Duty at all or gave any communication was back on January 24th. And even on Reddit, the last time we got any sort of reply from them was back on the 28th of January. So this move isn't exactly new, it's been going on for a while, but it's definitely new to us. And like I might have mentioned before, the new studio head is actually Aaron Halon, or Halon. I do not know how to pronounce his last name, and quite frankly, I don't care. He's the new studio head of Sledgehammer Games, and he has been with the company since its foundation in 2009, and his acting role before actually moving up to the head of the development studio was actually development director. Now I do not know what that means, however it does sound like a pretty hefty title with a lot of weight behind it, and other than that I know nothing else about this guy other than he has been in the video game business for, for more than 20 years, so take that for what it's worth, I do not know what else this guy has done so I cannot really speak on him. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, at first I was kinda like sad because I hate to see people lose their jobs, and to be completely honest I had assumed that they were fired, but no they moved on to more powerful positions within Activision, so to be completely honest I'm kinda happy that they're gone because now now we only have one guy calling the shots. At first, it was just once again Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield. Maybe they had some development ideas that contradicted each other. And to be honest, this is why I think that Treyarch is one of the best developers out there because we have only one studio head over there, and that is David Vonderhaar. Hopefully, Aaron actually takes the opposite approach that Glenn and Michael took and actually listens to the community. Not just a Reddit post that says, Hey, you guys, we are listening to you. I want him to actually communicate with us whenever he can. How about a community manager, you know, like the other development studios have? I don't know, but that sounds like a great idea to me. And before I forget to mention it, this actually comes on the heels of Eric Hirschberg, the current CEO of Activision, announcing his departure from the company. Now, he left, and then apparently Michael and Glenn left Sledgehammer Games about around the time that Eric announced that he was leaving the company. I'm not gonna sit here and make an entire conspiracy video about it, just know that things are pretty uncanny. I'm just connecting dots. I'm not saying, but I am saying. And I'll finally, what do I have to say to this Aaron guy? This is a message to you. If you want instant God status within the Call of Duty World, World War II community, there's only three things you need to do to achieve instant God status. Number one, paint jobs. Quit teasing us with that shit and just release it, man. Just go ahead and do it. I want to download some cool skins and put them on my guns because Lord knows I'm not getting any heroics. Number two, sprint out times. In all seriousness, this is what the community needs, this is what the community wants. This will help the game better thrive within its community and I really feel like this is something that we need. You are now the boss, give us a reduced sprint out time. And finally, communication. I know that I already mentioned communication, but this is something that we really need. The lack of communication is actually what led to the downfall of Call of Duty World War II. Now, I know it sold amazing, it sold better than Infinite Warfare, however the retention rate, which means how often you can keep people playing and how, and how often you can keep them coming back, is significantly worse than it was with Infinite Warfare. All in all, these are just my opinions, and I want to know what you guys have to say in the comments down below. What do you guys think the future of Call of Duty World War II and Sledgehammer Games is? What do you guys think these new rules that they have actually taken at Activision are? Because uh, I'm a little worried about it, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of am. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, just let me know all of that. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, you guys, and I'll see you guys next time, peace.